In designing the 3000 GT Spider, numerous changes developed from the existing coupe, most notably in the areas of structural reinforcements, body panel changes, and interior modifications. The removal of the solid roof structure calls for significant additional strengthening of the body. Components have been added into the rocker panels, rear cross member, windshield header, and tail lamp panel. The coil spring rates have been softened at the front and rear to match the body structure of the Spider. There are numerous body changes. The two-piece composite roof, the rear hinged hard tonneau, and the relocation of the radio antenna to the right front fender. Other body modifications include spider unique front fenders due to A pillar and rocker panel structure changes, a modified side air dam to accommodate the rocker panel changes, and the deletion of the active aero system, which was standard on the VR4 coupe. This non active spoiler is found on both spider versions. Interior changes unique to the Spider include modified sun visors, a multi section vinyl covered hard headliner, and revised seat belt components and mounting points, a unique amplifier with increased power output, and deletion of the lift gate switch from the anti theft alarm system. The ECU for the anti lock brake system has been mounted lower on the right side. and the ECS control unit has been moved to the left side of the interior. No other ECUs have been moved for the Spider. Also, some of the body pieces such as the side air dam are available as service parts, while others, like the modified rear combination lamps, must be slightly modified by the installer. There are a number of service adjustments that can be performed on the retractable hardtop system to make sure it's within factory specs if the vehicle has sustained structural damage. Components that can be adjusted include the roof panels, the upstops and downstops, which control the extent of travel of the retractable hardtop, the roof hinges, the locator pins and strikers, the header latch garnishes, the main pivots, which anchor the hardtop system to the body, and the balance links, which are part of the retractable hardtop superstructure. The details for these adjustment procedures can be found in the Spider Service Manual supplement, but there are two cautions that you should also be aware of. First, for the hardtop system to operate properly, it is extremely important that the main pivots be accurately located in relation to the body structure. For the system to be reliable, you must also be certain that the body itself is dimensionally accurate within factory specifications. Second, adjusting or replacing most components of the hardtop system, including weather strip, requires an electronic recalibration of the ECU. Please send all hardtop repairs requiring recalibration to the ASC Service Center. Refer to TSB 95-42A-001 for information on contacting the ASC Service Center. In this video, we've reviewed automatic and manual hardtop operation, hardtop system components, their location, and the major changes of the Spider versus the 3000 GT. And don't forget the skill modules. Refer to these along with the Spider Service Manual supplement when servicing this vehicle.